let's take a quick look at what's good and bad about urban design in Philadelphia, located on the stolen land of the Lenny Lenape people. I'll start with the good. Philly has some bike infrastructure. A bit of it, like this portion of the Schuylkill River Trail, is excellent, truly a pleasure to use. There are a few slightly protected bike lanes which are mostly around city center. The old style urban design here makes for some decent traffic calming, like on these super narrow streets which force drivers to go extremely slow and discourage them cutting through. And Philly has plenty of parks, large and small, which are a cornerstone of good quality of life in any city. But overall, Philly is profoundly choked with cars. The amount of on-street parking is truly outrageous, and I've never seen a city with more streets that have parking on both sides, which creates dangerous visibility issues and generally makes this place feel cramped. Like, it just looks like this absolutely everywhere here. And because the parking situation is so awful due to the induced demand for driving caused by excessive car infrastructure, it's very typical for drivers here to engage in antisocial behavior like parking on the sidewalk, parking in the bike lane, and even parking in the crosswalk. The constantly horrible traffic here also predictably makes drivers impatient, which encourages them to drive in a violent, selfish manner. The urban design that creates this behavior demonstrates a complete lack of care for anyone outside of a car, particularly disabled folks. I can't imagine how many barriers someone using a wheelchair or pushing a stroller would face in a city like this. We should be ashamed of the inaccessibility of so many of our cities. It's a form of violence and oppression. In my next video, I'll talk more about what it's like to bike in Philly. Thanks for watching.